Hello, and welcome to Learning the Cisco Application Centric Infrastructure, or better known as ACI. My name is Rene Cardona, and I will be guiding you through this exciting video training series and helping you understand how does ACI work. Let's start by getting to know me a little bit better. My name is Rene Cardona. I am a data center and cybersecurity solutions architect. I am a dual CCIE in both data center and service provider tracks. I support all SDN-based data center fabrics, such as the VXLAN BGP EVPN fabrics, and this will be your layer two or layer three encapsulation, as well as Cisco's application-centric infrastructure. I also work and support hyper-converged compute environments such as Cisco HyperFlex, as well as the VxRail and the vCenter vSAN environment. Network perimeter security do a lot, a lot of support in the network security realm. Install firewalls, I deploy network perimeter solutions, do a lot of NAC network admission control deployments, etc. Finally, you can get a hold of me and ask me any questions through my website, rcitnet.com, as well as on my LinkedIn profile. So find me under Rene Cardona. Okay, so let's start by discussing the course overview. We will learn the following. Okay, in section one, we are discussing the foundational aspects of ACI because we need to know the foundational knowledge and the terms and how everything fits together in order for us to support it, right? In section two, we are going into the initial ACI fabric setup. We are deploying the ACI fabric from scratch. Section three, we discuss, I think it's the most important aspect of ACI, which is the policies and profiles to enable the connectivity. Section four, we discuss multi-tenancy in ACI, which is, I think it's the bread and butter of a Cisco software defined fabric, which allows you to segment networks virtually. So you build virtual networks inside a physical topology. Section five, we discuss the internal fabric connectivity in ACI. Section six, we secure the fabric from external connections because we allow external connections, but we gotta make sure that they're secure before we allow ingress into the fabric. Section seven, we automate and orchestrate ACI configuration tasks. We're gonna be doing multiple repetitive tasks, we want to go ahead and automate those and do that with a automation script. And we're gonna discuss that. Section eight, we enable layer two through layer seven services in ACI. We, we insert firewalls, we insert load balancers, etc. Section nine, we discuss finally how to manage and how to troubleshoot an ACI fabric. Okay. Very important prerequisites for this video course, and I want to make sure that you fully take advantage of all my training sections. So you need to have a general working knowledge in data center network architectures. I'm not implying for you to be a, a CCIE level expert, right? But you should have working knowledge. A CCMP or Cisco certified network professional certification level working experience with routing and switching protocols. It's very important for you to have that foundational knowledge in a CCMP level, okay? General working knowledge in border gateway protocol or BGP. It's very important because BGP is highly utilized in ACI when it comes to external connections. You have to be passionate on what you do. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not passionate, you're not gonna be successful. You need to be passionate on what you do so you enjoy this journey with me. Finally, practice, practice, and more practice. Practice makes perfection. Again, repeat after me, practice makes perfection, okay? My goals with you, I want to build an ACI fabric from the ground up. I want to show you how the steps are performed so you do it on your own and you feel confident that you can take on the task. Understand the difference between the policies and profiles. I want you to know and understand that there's a big difference between the two and they all complement each other. Adopt and implement a multi-tenancy with ACI. Again, it's the bread and butter of multi-tenant software-defined networking to build virtual networks on top of the other. So I will teach you and I will show you how that works, okay? 
understand software defined networks from a logical and practical standpoint. So you need to know where does SDN fits in my environment and why would I go and deploy a software defined network? Finally, support an ACI fabric to an advanced level, because once you deploy it, you need to maintain it and you need to operate it, right? So you need to know that to an advanced level. My goal with this course is for you to get you to that level, okay? Alrighty, so with that said, let's go ahead and get started with learning the application-centric infrastructure.